Good afternoon, everyone. I take this occasion to welcome those who may be visiting with us as we are anticipating the 20th Sunday in Ordinary Time. The Vigil Mass is the anticipatory Mass of the, of the Sunday celebration. Our announcements for this week. We have, had a quite, we have had quite a few requests to have our prayer cards printed so that you can participate in the prayers before and after Mass, such as the Family Prayer and the Anima Christi. We have made some on cardstock for you to take. Please keep them and bring them back with you. With the current disinfecting policies, we are not allowed to collect them and reuse them, so please do keep them with you and um, certainly happy to accommodate you with that request. Our Knights of Columbus, Council 6357, is hosting a blood drive at the KC Hall on Sunday, August the 23rd from 9 a.m. to 1 o'clock p.m. If you are available, please consider donating. This is a small sacrifice that can save lives. And I'm reiterating the announcements we made last week. It is with great sadness that I announce that we announced the cancellation of the 2020 oil pH fair. We have held off on making this decision in the hopes that some of the restrictions due to the COVID-19 would lessen, but that does not seem to be happening. Therefore, without knowing when and if the restrictions would change in the coming months, we feel that it is best to cancel for the year and plan to have a great celebration in the fall of 2021. Mark your calendars and save the date for October 8th, 9th, and 10th of 2021. The teachers and staff of OLPH have worked long and hard this summer to figure out the, fast, the safest way to return to the classrooms following the New Orleans Office of Catholic Schools and the Louisiana Department of Education guidelines. They have come up with an action plan that will have the students return to their classrooms full time this coming Monday, August the 17th. This return will be slightly different than what the kids are used to, including shields on every desk and social distancing. If families are not comfortable with sending their children back to school, OLPH is also offering virtual learning on a nine-week basis. Please keep the students and teachers in your prayers as they begin this new school year. And as a reminder, the guidelines rev relative to the COVID-19 that we are adhering to, the social distancing recommended of six feet between yourself and another person is equivalent to, th to three chairs between you and the next person or the next family. We are asking also that you continue to maintain wearing your mask throughout Mass with the exception of when you're having to receive Holy Communion. The floor is marked with um, this carpenter tape that marks and they're set at six feet intervals to help you to maintain that social distancing observation. And also um, following Mass, we ask that you would not congregate as well as taking the, the, the sheets of paper that we have with the lyrics of the songs, response to our psalm and so forth, please keep those with you or discard them as we don't reuse them for safety precautions. I also wanted to mention with regard to Holy Communion, you know, since we have suppressed the cup for obvious reasons to try to offset um, infecting people with the, the virus and whatnot, the the re whether we receive under one form or the other, whether you receive the consecrated host or the precious blood, the, the wine that is consecrated, you're receiving the whole Jesus. The Catechism of the Catholic Church states the following in paragraph 1377. The Eucharistic presence of Christ begins at the moment of the consecration and endures as long as the Eucharistic species subsist. Christ is present whole and entire in each of the species and whole and entire in each of their parts in such a way that the breaking of the bread does not, does not divide Christ. So the smallest particle of a host that's consecrated, one sim small drop of the, of, the, of the wine that's consecrated is the whole body, blood, soul, and divinity of Jesus. So just to let you know that today, this afternoon's Mass is offered for all of the parishioners of OLPH here in Bell Chase. I invite us to stand at this time as we can express a word or a gesture of welcome to one another as we prepare to encounter Christ in word and sacrament.
As our celebration begins, let us raise our voices in singing, All Are Welcome. Let us build a house where love can dwell and all can safely live. A place where saints and children tell how hearts learn to forgive. Built of hopes and dreams and visions, rock of faith and vault of grace. Near the love of Christ shall end divisions. All are welcome, all are welcome, all are welcome in this place. Let us build a house where hands will reach beyond the wood and stone to heal and strengthen and serve and teach and, teach and live the word alone here the cast and the stranger the image of God's face let us bring an end to fear and danger all are welcome, all are welcome, all are welcome in this place. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace and peace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Beloved, let us center our hearts and minds in that of the Sacred Heart of Jesus in union with the Immaculate Heart of the Blessed Virgin Mary as we enter this Eucharistic celebration of the mercy and love of God. We do so mindful of our ongoing need for conversion. We fall short of God's glory. We're sinners, but beloved sinners that the Lord wants to heal. So we surrender all to him as we ask for that pardon, that peace and strength that he alone can give. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray, pray for, for me, me to, the to the Lord our, our God. God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who have prepared for those who love you good things which no eye can see, fill our hearts, we pray, with the warmth of your love so that loving you in all things and above all things, we may, all att we may attain your promises, which surpass every human desire, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever.
A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, observe what is right, do what is just, for my salvation is about to come, my justice about to be revealed. The foreigners who join themselves to the Lord, ministering to him, loving the name of the Lord and becoming his servants, all who keep the Sabbath free from profanation and hold to my covenant, them I will bring to my holy mountain and make joyful in my house of prayer. Their burnt offerings and sacrifices will be acceptable on my altar. For my house shall be called a house of prayer for all peoples. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Oh God, oh God, let all the nations praise you. Oh God, oh God, let all the nations praise you. May God have pity on us and bless us. May he let his face shine upon us. So may your way be known upon the earth, among all nations, your salvation. O oh God, O oh God, let all the nations praise you. May the nations be glad and exult, because you rule the peoples in equity, the nations on the earth you guide. O oh God, O oh God, let all the nations praise you. May the peoples praise you, O oh God. May all the peoples praise you. May God bless us, and may all the ends of the earth fear him. O oh God, O oh God, let all the nations praise you. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, I am speaking to you Gentiles. Inasmuch as I am the apostle to the Gentiles, I glory in my ministry in order to make my race jealous and thus save some of them. For if their rejection is the reconciliation of the world, what will their acceptance be but life from the dead? From the gifts and the call of God are irrevocable. Just as you once disobeyed God, but have now received mercy because of their disobedience, so they have now disobeyed in order that, by virtue of the mercy shown to you, they too may now receive mercy. For God delivered all to disobedience, that he might have mercy upon all. The word of the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Jesus proclaimed the gospel of the kingdom and cured every disease among the people. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. 
อาเลนโอยา The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus withdrew to the region of Tyre and Sidon, and behold, a Canaanite woman of that district came and called out, "Have pity on me, Lord, Son of David! My daughter is tormented by a demon." But Jesus did not say a word to answer her. Jesus's disciples came and asked him. Send her away, for she keeps calling out after us. He said in reply, "I was sent only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel." But the woman came and did Jesus homage, saying, "Lord, help me." He said in reply, "It is not right to take the food of the children and throw it to the dogs." She said, "Please, Lord, for even the dogs eat the scraps that fall from the table of their masters." Then Jesus said to her in reply, "O woman, great is your faith; let it be done for you as you wish." And the woman's daughter was healed from that hour. The Gospel of the Lord. The, uh, the great comedian Groucho Marx used to like to tell a story about how he resigned from the Friars Club of Los Angeles. He sent them a one-sentence letter. It said, "I don't want to be part of any club that would have me as a member." Well, fortunately, there's no such entrance test for the church. We all know. In our hearts, what sinners we are, and yet Jesus wants us there anyway, and not just us, but everyone in the whole world. When we say our creed, and we say, "I believe in one holy Catholic and Apostolic Church," the Catholic in that phrase means just that. It means universal. We believe that our Lord intended the church to be a big tent organization, to include anybody and everybody. We see bits and pieces of this in every one of the readings that we had today, but I want to take you through Matthew's gospel because it really drives home this point. Now, Matthew's gospel starts off by telling us that Jesus and his disciples went to the land of Tyre and Sidon. That may not mean much of anything to us.、Um, if you look on a map, Sea of Galilee is here. Tyre and Sidon, little northwest of there, kind of around where Beirut, Lebanon, is today. This was Gentile territory, non-Jewish territory. Scripture scholars debate why Jesus went there. It doesn't say in the text. They sort of assume that this follows right after a time he got in a big argument with the scribes and Pharisees, and he was kind of looking for a little cooling-off period. But anyway, it's Gentile territory, and the first person who comes up to them is not just any Gentile, but a Canaanite. Now, maybe that doesn't mean a lot to us right now, but Matthew's first-century Christian audience was made up of mostly Jewish members. They would recognize right away a Canaanite is coming up. This means trouble, because the Canaanites were the people that occupied the, the Promised Land. These were the people that Israel had to conquer to push out of the way.、And、they didn't get rid of all of them, obviously. And these Canaanites had a culture that was very steeped in polytheism. They believed in multiple gods, many, many gods.、Uh, scripture tells us about some of them. You may have heard、uh, Molech is one of the gods. They sacrificed to that god by taking babies and throwing them into a fire. They had、uh, Baal. You've heard of Baal. And they had Astarte. This was the male and female fertility gods, and the way you worshipped them was you went to a temple and you,、um, shall we say, interacted with one of the temple prostitutes. So you can see why some of these pagan religions might have been a problem for ancient Israel, 
And indeed, in the scriptures, we see several instances of this. In the book of Maccabees, there was a great big battle in which the Maccabees had prayed for God's protection. And after the battle, they go pick up the dead, and they find that the only people who died in Israel's army were ones who had little idols, these Canaanite gods. So these first century Jewish Christians would recognize, absolutely, this is a problem coming up. The Jews didn't like the Canaanites. They called them dogs. Well, that, that's not like, you know, yo dog today, you know, where it's, you know, my friend, my buddy. This is an insult. This is, this is a big put down, okay? They didn't like them at all. But somehow or another, this strange woman, this Canaanite woman, this outcast of the Jewish society recognizes something in Jesus. In fact, the, the greeting that she gives sort of recognizes that she detects some spark of the divine in him. Our early church fathers, because of that, have given her the title of Mother of the Gentiles. And they refer to her daughter as the people who had been misled by the demon of paganism being brought back to the church. Now, when Jesus answers, well, he actually tells his disciples he's not going to talk to her because his mission is only to the lost sheep of Israel. Um, that's kind of to be expected because that was his mission. In God's plan of salvation, God picked a chosen people, a small group of people out of all the world that he would start by teaching about himself. And then at a certain point in history, he becomes incarnate in Jesus Christ. Jesus establishes his church by gathering about him the, the, the disciples, the apostles, and it's their job to go out to all the world. So that's perfectly within his mission to tell the disciples, this isn't really, you know, something I'm supposed to be dealing with. When he answers her, it's not right to give the food of the children to the dogs. He's speaking in a language that his apostles would understand, that the disciples would understand, that even the first, Christian, uh, first century Christian Jews would understand. They expected this kind of interaction between a Jew and a Canaanite. Well, there's one other thing in the culture of this Middle Eastern, early first century. Most people could not read and write. So consequently, to show off your intelligence, you had to be able to debate. There was give and take in language. And if you could do wordplay or you know, verbal judo kind of a thing, it was looked upon as really a great talent. And that's exactly what the Canaanite woman does. She takes Jesus' phrase, she turns it around a little bit. Uh, you don't get the full gist of it in English, because uh, in English we just say, you know, even the dogs get it. But what she says in, in the original Greek is even the little dogs, in other words, the puppies. She's like, okay, I may be a dog, but, you know, even the puppies get the scraps. Well, okay, the first century Jewish Christian audience and the, and the disciples and everybody around them would say, oh, this, this, is, this is good wordplay. We, you know, we applaud this. So they would also applaud the fact that Jesus rewards her by granting her wish, by healing her daughter, by having the demon leave her daughter. Our early church fathers see in this episode pointing to the mission to the Gentiles. And so as that first century church began to move out, Peter would go to the Gentiles. Paul would go to the Gentiles. And thank goodness they did because I think almost every one of us in here is a Gentile. The big tent church, the mission to all the world, the last thing our Lord said before he ascended, go out and make disciples of all the world. That mission belongs to us today. Every one of us still to this day should be carrying out this mission. So let's try to keep that in mind. Let us always remember that we need to be open to all people in our church, all races, all political persuasions, even people who only halfway get it. We need to welcome them. We need to be able to correct them when they're wrong. As such, this COVID-19 time, is, uh, while we're all sheltering in place, is a great time to get some books, to read on the internet, to learn about our faith, to really stoke up our knowledge so that when we need to pass it on to somebody, we can. And we should be passing it on to our friends, to our family who may have fallen away from practice, most importantly to our children, because God gave us our children 
in order that we might teach them about him. And we must always, always be prepared to testify to the truth about God and about his mercy. We taste God's love and God's mercy every time we approach in the Eucharist. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. Our Lord does not have an entrance requirement that would keep sinners like us from joining his club. God love you. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation he came down from heaven and by the holy spirit was incarnate of the virgin mary and became man for our sake he was crucified under pontius pilate he suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the father he will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come, Amen. Recalling the faith of the Canaanite woman in today's gospel, we lift our hearts to the Father with assurance that our prayers will be heard. For the church, may the grace and mercy of the Holy Spirit continue to strengthen her in faith and unity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For leaders of nations throughout the world, may God grant them a spirit of reconciliation and collaboration let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For families experiencing strife, may the peace of Christ bring an end to division and repair broken relationships. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the intentions of this Mass, the needs of the people whose names are written in the Hear Our Prayer Book, and the prayers we hold in the silence of our hearts, united with Our Lady of Perpetual Help. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For school administrators, teachers, catechists, and students, that they may grow in knowledge and become more faithful disciples of Jesus, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For our beloved dead, may they experience the mercy of God and rest in his eternal peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That through the intercession of Our Lady of Prompt Succor, we will be spared damage to life and property during this hurricane season. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all military and first responders, that they and their families may be kept safe from all harm. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Let us take this opportunity to entrust the petitions that we voice along with those we harbor in the silence of our hearts to the faithful intercession of the Immaculate Heart of the Blessed Virgin Mary, our perpetual help, as we say. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, 
and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Father of mercy and love, you have extended your grace to all who call upon your name. Hear our prayers offered to you in faith. We ask this through your Son, Christ our Lord. Amen. As the bread and wine are prepared, let us join in singing, There is a Balm in Gilead. Beloved, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive our oblation, O Lord, by which is brought about a glorious exchange, that by offering what you have given, we may merit to receive your very self through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For by his birth he brought renewal to humanity's fallen state, and by his suffering canceled out our sins. By his rising from the dead, he has opened the way to eternal life. And by ascending to you, O Father, he has unlocked the gates of heaven. And so, with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. O Son in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. O Son in the highest, O Son in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. 
For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we are brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith Save us, Savior of the world For by your cross and resurrection You have set us free Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven. And as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity, your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant, Francis, our Pope, and Gregory, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you've summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, 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 amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art, who art in, heaven, in heaven, hallowed, hallowed be thy, thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will, thy will be, be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit, let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. As we come forward to receive the body and blood of Christ, let us join in singing, We Are Many Parts. We are many parts, we are all one body, and the gifts we spirit of love make us one indeed one the love that we share one our hope in despair one the cross that we bear God of all be your love for all the world. We are many parts, 
We are all one body, and the gifts we have, we are given to share. May the spirit of love make us one indeed, one the love that we share, one our hope in despair, one the cross that we bear. So my pain is pain for you, in your joy is my joy too. All is brought together in the Lord. We are many parts. We are all one body. And the gifts we have, we are given to share. May the spirit of love make us one indeed, one the love that we share, one our hope in despair, one the cross that we bear. For those presently unable to receive Jesus in the most blessed sacrament of the altar, we offer the following prayer. Soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, inebriate me. Water from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. O oh, good Jesus, hear me. Within thy wounds, hide me. Suffer me not to be separated from thee. From the malicious enemy, defend me. In the hour of my death, call me and bid me come to thee, that with thy saints and angels I may praise thee for ever and ever. Amen. Let us pray. Made partakers of Christ through these sacraments, we humbly implore your mercy, Lord, that conformed to his image on earth, we may merit also to be his co-heirs in heaven, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down your heads and pray for God's blessing. Keep your family, we pray, O oh Lord, in your constant care, so that under your protection they may be free from all troubles and by good works show dedication to your name through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go.
and announce the good news of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please remember to take the song sheets with you when you leave and discard them. And we'll go forth singing, joyful, joyful, we adore you. Joyful, joyful, we adore you, God of glory, Lord of love. Hearts unfold like flowers before you, opening to the sun above. Melt the clouds of sin and sadness, drive the dark of doubt away. Giver of immortal gladness, fill us with the light of day. Mortals join the mighty chorus which the morning stars began. God's own love is reigning o'er us, joining people hand in hand. Ever singing, march we onward, victors in the midst of strife. Joyful music leads us onward in the triumph song of life. Saint Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, Cast, cast into hell, hell Satan, and, and all the evil spirits who prowl around the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Amen.